Welcome back, everyone. If you're planning on painting or redesigning maybe your home in 2019, it's easy to get overwhelmed picking colors. But today we have Trevor Hill here from Trevor Hill Design to talk about the top trending design colors. Thanks for coming in again today. You bet. Thanks for having me. Well, it is overwhelming. I just said that you sometimes you're like, I want turquoise or green or yellow, and there are five million different shades, and you don't really want to get the wrong shade. <laughs> right, exactly. So it's really nice. So many different um, leading industry people like Benjamin Moore, Sharon Williams, they'll come out with um, their trending colors so you can see what um, kind of what the what it's set for for the year. So 2019 Benjamin Moore came out with their trending colors and I thought I'd just run around town and grab a few things. Well actually this I grabbed for my house but uh, grab a few things with those trending colors. Really it's pretty interesting because here in town you can find a lot of these trending things you know um generally when you go to market you see the things that are heading so it's usually about a year behind and then you start to see those trending colors but yeah on the screen you can see these are all the colors right now so you can see head over heels with the pillow the bow green over here is this oh, pillow. bow green this is yeah. i called it what i call it turquoise well it is it really is kind of like a variation of a you know it's a green turquoise you know, and even when I was grabbing that, I kept looking. I'm like, is this bow green? You know, it's so close. And then there was a different turquoise pillow that had more blue in it. So I was going for the more green because I thought it was really... Okay, well, I, I like that. I mean, that's... You're telling me what the difference is there. Yeah. This is more green turquoise versus a blue. Exactly. And this is so that's... rich, too. It's a really deep, rich color. I love looking at these colors and seeing this as inspiration versus thinking about paint swatches. Because if you would have brought in... I mean, we see this. Yeah. But then you see this and you, you can see how it can work in your home. What is there anything that surprises you about the colors this year? It, well, kind of the only thing that really surprised me is... Um, really, design-wise, everybody in the industry is talking about how brown it's heading, which is so surprising, oh. you because know, it went gray for so long. So I noticed Metropolitan, like I did with this vase. Metropolitan really is a beautiful gray color, um, and it's surprising because um, it, it just seems like gray is like tapering off, but you can see it's obviously still very prevalent. Everybody has it in their home, yeah, practically. I was say, <laughs> except for me, because I feel like I was the one person that kept the brown. I'm like, I want to go gray, but everything, you know, you move, and I haven't moved, and oh, thank goodness. So you're on trend. I you're am like... on trend. Well, the last five years, I've been not on trend, but what, it, yeah, I'm, I'm coming back. So that's awesome. Very that's exciting. If you stick around with like a style long enough. It's the worst. <laughs> so you're leading the trend again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, for sure. People oh, yeah. like... Just toss in some head over heels, some bow green, boom, there you are. <laughs> so talk a little bit too about how if you don't want to, like I just said, I, I already had the browns and I was like, yeah. I can't just, you know, totally go all out with the, the grays and the couches and all of that and the paint colors. Can you add some of these new colors at, into something that you already have designed? Absolutely. And that's what I kind of love about that um, this whole trend palette, the Kona, that beautiful brown color. Yeah, this goes amazing with brown. This would go great with brown or gray. Mm -hmm. Kind of goes with either. But yeah, it's so nice to switch out those accessories and inexpensive pieces instead of redoing your entire home. That's why it's always nice to stay neutral in your furnishings. Yeah. Because I, paint is easy and accessories are too. Good for the gray people because, you know, you know the, <laughs> they weren't, you know, as trendy as me and not ready for the change. But anyway, so you also talked about market and uh, coming up, you're going to be kind of ahead of the uh, the game again by going to Vegas. We're going to take a quick break and okay. we're going to talk about what you're going to do when you're there. Awesome.